Hey guys, Trishant Midget here. So I'm going to be showing you my SSGM4 here. It changed quite a bit, actually. Um, so this is now an ICS Split Gearbox M4. Uh, got Redwater Airsoft. Check out his YouTube page. Um, he sent me this gun, and we traded. So I'm not going to get into the trade or anything because my camera will shut off. Thanks, iPhones, Apples. Um, so uh, I don't know where to start, really. A lot of the stuff on here is the same on the externals as it was with my uh, GMP body. Um, but I had an issue with my Ares shell that I got. One of the springs broke and it's very proprietary. So I was like, screw it. This dude wants to trade. I'm trading. Uh, made it a split gearbox and it was very successful. Um, so basically I have a 14.5 inch outer barrel. I have an APS key mod with a hand stop. Two flip-up sights, one in the back, one in the rear. GMP Comp 2 Red Dot, uh, sick flash hider. Um, this rail, I had to modify the upper to accept the rail just like I had to do with the GMP. This APS key mod is not very good. It did not fit on a GMP upper or an ICS upper. So, and I think it's maybe probably gas blowback threads. Um, I don't know, to be honest. So I got it a while ago and had to modify both both receivers. Um, anyways, uh, ICS metal upper and lower. Also, if you guys don't know, I'm building a DSG ICS M4. So that's why I wanted to do two ICS M4s. Um, and then I have my MP5, which is totally different. But I want to stick with ICS with my M4s. Um, 11.1, 4,000 milliamp, thir or 40 to 50 C. Deans. Um, I have a MOSFET in here. The wire is too thick, so basically, right back here, I have a joint basically where I soldered thinner wire in, so that there's thinner wire going under the pinion, so the pinion gear is not touching the wire whatsoever. Uh, it has a ZCI high torque motor. It's 22 TPA. I have a Chali arm in it, um, but the ZCIs were 22 as well, 22 TPA. So the TPA is the same. As far as performance between the Chali and the um, ZCI, the ZCI definitely shot faster. A good about five rounds a second faster before it broke. Um, now it's getting like 20 rounds a second at max. It's like around there. Um, but this is my Milsim gun, so I stick to semi-auto. Um, once in a while, full auto, but slow fire. It uh, has a sling mount back here. He modified that on here. Um... Because these are proprietary, a lot of the the ICS ones, it's complicated. Um, but that part's proprietary. Um, uh, ICS metal body, like I said. Um, split the gun. Right back here is this point. See that yellow heat shrink right on that red wire? That is where the joint is separated so basically it's i soldered thinner wire so the thinner wire goes through the gun now and the thicker wire goes through here i have a mosfet like i said it's a 3034 mosfet uh, there's a yellow signal wire just to prove it um and I, the parts in the lower receiver i have a uh retro arms green trigger i glued a piece of plastic on the back of it to shorten the pull just a little bit stock contacts um, like I said, with the MOSFET, Gen 4, 13-1 SHS gear set with sector chip, VFC sector chip. Um, like I said, the ZCI high torque motor. Um, that's it in here, really. Uh, upper portion, ICS shell, uh, VFC O-ring nozzle, VFC cylinder, uh, Lonex metal cylinder head with Sorbo, random tap it, um, SHS metal rack piston, uh, the speed rail one with no, sh uh, with no, um, it's AOE corrected and but it's not pre lightened. Um, it's just the dark blue uh, speed rail one. GNG piston head compression is pretty good. Um, M125 springs matrix um, spring guide I thought was proprietary on these and it's not. So I got to get a ball bearing for this because um, the guy that got this from did not include a ball bearing and the stock ones aren't ball bearing. So I thought it was proprietary. I thought I had to use the stock one, um, but. This is a different one. This is not a stock one in here. So I was like, oh, okay. So I will buy a ball bearing. I sent him a VFC ball bearing one. So should have kept that. Um, 
anyways, uh, so off the buy a ball bearing spring guide for this. Uh, the barrel 6.04 Aries, ICS hop up, and uh, JG bucking. Not the FPS is not as it's not shooting as hard as it did with my GMP, so I need to figure out. Uh, basically, I need to seal the hop up against the gearbox. That's all there is to that. So I can get my 380, 390 FPS. Like, oh, excuse me. Quick test um, with the spring all the way forward. It's, see, sometimes it'll do that full auto. The first shot uh, after decompressing the spring, it's full auto. And then when I let go of it, it does semi and it's very consistent and it cuts off fine. And it pre cocks. It's kind of annoying. Well, see, there it didn't do full auto. It, like, pre cocked it. It's kind of weird. It depends on what position the motor's in, I guess. Or the cutoff, rather. But it doesn't really matter. Because um, when I'm firing like this, it's fine. The trigger pull. Nice and short, kind of. It's not too bad. Full auto. Doesn't sound very good on full auto, but like I said, I won't be using full auto. pre cox semi-auto. Sometimes it'll do that. I think what's happening is the air latch, it doesn't have enough spring power to it, so it's not grabbing the gear, and it just ends up rotating. And it does that once in a while. It's when I start spamming the trigger super, super fast, it seems like it does that. Or I pull the trigger when it's, when it's not, 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 when it's not done cycling. Anyways, uh, there it did it again. Uh, maybe motor height too. I may need to put the motor height up a little bit. But that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll have a lot more airsoft videos coming about my DSG and gameplay with this eventually. So there we go. See you guys later.